welcome to our 2021 virtual awards ceremony. My name is Keith Johnson. I'm the president of CMEA Bay Section. Um, each year, Bay Section honors uh, members in our community that are deserving of recognition. And tonight's virtual awards ceremony is the first of its kind, taking the place of our awards presentations at our annual winter conference. Tonight's celebration will be co-hosted by myself, Bruce Loniker, and Sandy Lewis. Hi, my name is Bruce Loniker, and I have the honor to serve as the past president of CMEA Bay Section. The music educators nominated by our Bay Section membership are outstanding examples of dedication, intellectual curiosity, and drive, along with the attitude of service for all their students and colleagues. We'd like to acknowledge and thank Angelina Fitzhugh for compiling the photos and putting together the slideshows for tonight's ceremony. Sandy? Hi, my name is Sandra Lewis, and I'm the president-elect of CMEA Bay Section. We are so happy you could join us virtually to celebrate our award recipient. We have two slides for each awardee, and one of us will take a few minutes to speak a little bit about each of them. Feel free to show your appreciation in the chat. We ask that you keep your comments respectful and brief. And for everyone, as is uh, the norm these days with technology, um, if for whatever reason our broadcast gets interrupted, for internet issues, which will probably be on my end. Um, please do join back in um, and we'll be updating folks if there's a delay on, on things on our Facebook page. But just know that if for whatever reason things crash, um, we'll get things up and running as soon as possible. So we'd like to go ahead and get things going with our awards. Our first award tonight is the Gilbert T. Freitas Outstanding Educator Award. And these are uh, two awards that are given to uh, a, partic or a member with seven years or more of experience in seven years or less. Um, Gilbert Freitas was one of the original owners of Best Music Company and Best Instrument Repair Company. He was an ardent supporter of music education in CMEA Bay Section, and through his generosity over the years, he donated resources and to many schools, music camps, and to provide scholarships for many students. This year's award recipient of the Gilbert Freitas Award for seven years and under is Mr. Gary Ortega from Quimby Oak Middle School. Gary is a dynamic music educator and performer with a passion for the arts and the students and student development. He received his BM in jazz studies and MA in music, as well as his teaching credential from San Jose State University, where he studied with Jeff Lewis, Catherine Aducey, and Dr. Aaron Lincoln. Since 2015, Gary has served as district music teacher in uh, Evergreen Districts and Evergreen School District. He has been the director of three feeder elementary schools and is the current director of instrumental and choral music at Quimby Oak Middle School, where he has taught two concert bands, choir, jazz ensemble, and a music production course. In his tenure at Evergreen, Gary has helped to create district-wide changes to their elementary band program. He's responsible for piloting and launching the district's instrument fitting process engaging students and families in the instrument selection process prior to beginning their musical careers. Gary also created Quimby Oak's first jazz ensemble and music production course. And under his direction, Quimby Oak has been the recipient of two unanimous superior awards at CMEA festivals. Several of Gary's students have participated in CMEA base section honor ensembles, as well as all state honor groups. During the summers, Gary has been actively involved managing and teaching summer camps with the San Jose, San Jose Jazz since 2012. He is also a founding member of their, of their Progressions program, where he spent five years instructing elementary music in the Franklin McKinley School District. Gary is a devoted husband to his wife and their recently born first child, Miles. Together, they walk and hike with their ener energetic uh, Beagle Daisy. A colleague of Gary's had, had this to say, Gary is a joy to work with, as well as a caring and effective educator. He holds his students to a high standard, and they meet or exceed that standard. Congratulations, Gary. Please join all of us here on behalf of Base Section in congratulating Gary Ortega, this year's Gilbert T. Freitas Educator, Outstanding Educator with seven years or less experience. Gary, if you're here and you would like to say some quick words, please feel free to um, unmute yourself and join us. Uh, can you guys see me and hear me? Yes, awesome. I'm over, wait, over here. Okay, yes, very good. Um, I just wanted to say thank you very much uh, again for 
um, having me this evening. Uh, thanks very much to all my colleagues uh, and all my educators that I work with. Uh, it's, it's just an amazing and humble experience to accept this award tonight. And um, I just want to give a special thanks to the Evergreen community for uh, just being such an awesome place to work and teach. Uh, students and parents uh, of the music program have been so supportive. So thank you very much. And uh, to all the teachers out there, summer is here. Congratulations on completing a crazy year. So um, uh, yeah, thanks very much for having me tonight. <laughs> Next, we have Jenny Anderson, who is the recipient of the Gilfredis Outstanding Band Educator seven years or more. Jenny is a flutist and graduated from University of Pacific. She currently teaches band and jazz band at Fisher Middle School in Los Gatos. Born and raised in Northern California, Jenny played flute, piano, and guitar in elementary school. She was inspired to become a music teacher after attending Pacific Music Camp at UOP as an eighth grader. She continued to attend the camp throughout her high school years and was thrilled to be accepted did to UOP as an undergraduate music major in 1991. She earned a bachelor's degree in music education from University of Pacific in 1995 and worked at Pacific Music Camp for several years. After graduating from UOP, Jenny taught private flute lessons and K through six general music choir and band in Galt Joint Union School District. After moving to the Bay Area, she taught band, jazz band, and piano at Hoover Middle School in San Jose Unified School District. She began teaching music in the Los Gatos Union School District in 2004 at R.J. Fisher Middle School. Jenny teaches all the bands and jazz bands at R.J. Fisher Middle School and serves as the electives department chairperson. In 2009, she earned a master's degree in educational leadership from San Jose State University. In 2013, she was honored as a distinguished employee of the Los Gatos Union School District. Jenny served on the CMEA Bay Section Board from 2016 to 2019 as medals rep and tempo editor and hopes to return to the board in the next few years. She lives in San Jose with her husband, kids, and beloved pets. Her son just graduated from Lee High School and her daughter is a rising 11th grader. Both are band kids and she is a band mom and a band teacher. She loves being a band director and cherishes her annual week at Silver Lake Band Camp where she has been teaching for the last several summers. Staff say this about Jenny. Jenny Anderson is one of those educators who is always dedicated to the number one important thing, the students. She is a legendary educator in the Los Gatos community. Her dedication to music making and the student development is unparalleled. She has the unique ability to capture the minds and attention of the students at Fisher Middle School while keeping a calm and fun demeanor that allows kids to fall in love with Ben. Another colleague, colleague says, Jenny's dedication to music education is evident the moment you step in her band room at Fisher. She is exceedingly caring and patient with her students and creates a positive environment for them to learn and grow, both as musicians and as humans. Jenny is also a wonderfully supportive colleague and a dream to work with. Her professionalism, positivity, and social energy are the heartbeat of the music department at Fisher. She taught me so much as a young teacher and I deeply miss working alongside her. Jenny is such a special music educator and friend and she fully deserves this honor. Please join me in congratulating Jenny Anderson. And Jenny, if you want to say a quick word, please unmute yourself. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm just so humbled and extremely honored to be recognized um, with this award. I'm super grateful also to work in such a collaborative team setting at Fisher in the Las Gatos School District and also, you know, really in the greater South Bay region. Um, and I just want to say that I'm really always learning from all of you, all of my colleagues. Every time I see you, I'm having a coffee conversation or at a concert or a conference or um, I'm observing you. It's just wonderful. CMEA meetings, anything, um, any chance I get to um, talk with colleagues, I'm always inspired by all of you. So thank you for helping me be a lifelong learner and, and thank you all and happy summer. Great. Moving on, we have Ms. Shelley Durbin, who is receiving the Outstanding Choral Educator Award from Bay Section. Shelley Durbin has just completed her 14th year as the Director of Vocal Music at Kennedy Middle School in Cupertino, where she leads two levels of choir, a vibrant musical theater program, and most recently, the Advanced Orchestra. Her seventh and eighth grade choir has performed, performed three East Coast tours, including stops at Carnegie Hall in New York, at Westminster Choir College, and at the Curtis Institute in Philadelphia. Dynamic 7-8 performed at the Kazmek 
at CASMEC in 2017 and performed for the ACDA Western Division Conference in 2018. Prior to moving to California, Ms. Mrs. Durbin was a band director in Spring ISD, Independent School District, I'm guessing, a suburb north of Houston, where she was a TMEA Junior High Band Region Chair for eight years. Shelley considers her time in Texas as critical to her formation as a musician, and she credits her outstanding mentors, Tom Bennett and Eddie Green, for helping her develop a solid musical foundation upon which she has been able to build a very flexible music career. She's currently on the board of the CMEA Bay Section as, as the Assistant Large Festivals Coordinator, and she's a member of ACDA and NAFME. Shelley received her Bachelor's of Science degree from Texas A&M University in educational curriculum and instruction with an emphasis in English. She received her master's of music degree from East Texas State University, now Texas A&M University, um, Commerce. She is past teacher of the year for Kennedy Middle School and also serves as a site support provider for new teachers. Staff and students say this about Shelley. I've had the pleasure of working with Shelley, she has an extra E in her name, at Kennedy for the last 11 years. She is a beloved and cherished member of the community who consistently goes above and beyond for her students. One of the most beautiful things about her practice is that she engages students with special needs and creates community where differences are valued. In addition to her instructional responsibilities, Shelley has served as a mentor to several student teachers and is constantly welcoming those who are new to the profession to come and observe, and observe her classes. Another colleague remarked, Shelley welcomed me into the into the Kennedy middle, middle School community after I moved on from teaching elementary school. She made sure I felt welcome and voluntarily checked in with me weekly to make sure I was doing okay. Thank you for not only giving your best to your students, but also being there to support your colleagues. Please join us in congratulating Shelley. Shelley, if you wish to say some say quick words, please unmute yourself. Um, hi, thank you, everyone. Um, well, I just want to say um, that it feels strange to win an award in a year like this. And as a word of encouragement, I want to say if you've, you know, struggled at all this year, and if you look at me or anyone else and go like, you know, wow, there's achievements or whatever, just know that, um, you know, <laughs> The only reason I'm here now is because I'm stubborn. I have the love and I'm super stubborn. Okay. And I've been a giant, you know, there's so many things like along my career or whatever that, you know, have just gone wrong or I've been a failure at and this year just feels like a strange year. So everyone keep going, you know, and, and whatever it is you want to happen, you know, like it, it's, it can happen. And of course those things don't happen without the support of our families and the students that sing or play for us and the parents and all of that so i'm i'm so thankful for um, all of them and all of you colleagues and friends and supporters mentors um just thank you to everyone i i just i'm i'm only okay with this um because i just figure you know it's my body of work um you know so anyway somehow along the way it added up to something for someone and i'm so glad that it did and thank you everyone thank you shelly moving along our next award is the outstanding jazz educator award the CME Bay Section Jazz Award was renamed the Frank Samaras Memorial Jazz Award in 2016 to honor the legacy and contribution of jazz pianist and educator Frank Samaras. His contributions to the Bay Area music education community are countless and he impacted the lives of many. This year we'd like to honor another great jazz educator, Patrick Langham from the University of Pacific. Patrick received a Bachelor of Music and Master of Music, both with concentration in jazz studies from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Patrick is a co-founder of the Take Five Jazz Club in Stockton, and he regularly performs at the club and throughout the region. In 2017, Mr. Langham was awarded the California Music Educators Association Jazz Educator Award, honoring excellence in jazz education and performance. That would be the state award. As he currently, he is, he is currently the past president of the California Alliance for Jazz. Uni University of the Pacific honored him with the Champion of Diversity Award in 2018. As a saxophonist, he has performed with many distinguished jazz artists, including, including Newish, Lewis Nash, Bob Hurst, Donald Brown, Tom Harrell, 
Terrell Stafford, and Lewis Hayes, among others. From my own experiences with Patrick, I can say that working with him has always been an honor and a joy. As an adjudicator and a clinician, I've watched him share his knowledge with enthusiasm, a positive attitude, and a true passion for the art form, while providing students with the tools that they need to improve. As a teacher and as a director, I've seen how much he cares about his own students and, and not only as performers, but also as people. His groups are always outstanding. And as a player, he's the real deal. And the best way I could describe him is as soulful. Without question, Patrick is one of the premier jazz educators in our area, but also in our state and in the country. So please join us tonight in congratulating Patrick Langham for this year's Outstanding Jazz Educator Award. Patrick, if you have a, some stuff you want to share with us or like to say, we ask that you join us now. Congrats, Patrick. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much. I mean, Keith, uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, like so many of the other award recipients tonight, I'm humbled and so appreciative. I mean, you know, we work hard for our students and uh, we do the best we can. And it's really something to then all of a sudden have your colleagues and your peers recognize what you do. So I don't want to make this a long winded speech. I just want to say thank you to everyone. And I really appreciate the support because without that, I couldn't do anything. So thank you all. And uh, I really appreciate it. Next, we have David Bird, who will be receiving CMEA Bay Sections Outstanding Orchestra Educator Award. David grew up in a musical family. His father was a multi-instrumentalist who played alto saxophone in the Grambling State Marching Band and piano at their place of worship. David started out playing clarinet K through 12, and then as he was transitioning to college, he switched to guitar as his primary instrument professionally. David attended UC Berkeley for his bachelor's degree and then St. Mary's at Moraga for his teaching credential. At St. Mary's, Steve Acatino was his music master teacher and released his orchestra and beginning band to him at Ignacio Valley School in Walnut Creek. His first teaching job was a split assignment at Castlemont and Fremont High Schools in Oakland from 1995 to 97. He then spent the next eight years in the industry. In 2006, he returned to the classroom teaching at Oakland Technical High School. There was no program, no instruments, and no literature. He built that program from the bottom up. When he left in 2013, the orchestra had 72 students and two levels of jazz bands. The program was left in excellent shape. His current assignment is at Oakland Senior High School. Oakland High was in a similar situation, no program and no infrastructure. By 2019, he had built the program to 60 plus student musicians in orchestra and a full big band. Both groups went to CMEA festivals and other competitions and festivals in Northern California. A colleague, Stephanie says, I have the privilege of working with David Bird for the past 10 years. He has turned the Oakland High School music program into one of the finest music programs in Oakland. Plus, when I asked him to dress as Darth Vader for our orchestra benefit concert, he said yes. Dave is a fine musician and is always willing to help a colleague. He is always backstage at my concerts, fixing strings, moving chairs, basically being the best orchestra dad ever. I've had the pleasure of teaching both of his sons. David is very deserving of this award. Another colleague commented, David Bird is the current music director at Oakland High. 14 years ago, he started at Oakland Tech, which had less than 20 students in their instrumental music department at the time. Under his leadership, Tech Orchestra blossomed to over 70 students and his other classes grew exponentially as well. He brought his orchestra in 2013 to CMEA, or CMEA Orchestra Festival and received unanimous superior rating. Later, he went to Oakland High, which at the time had no instrumental program. The program is now thriving under his leadership with a full orchestra of over 60 and more unanimous superiors. Dave gets results by spending hours getting to know his students, making a safe space for music and bringing passion and love into his classroom. Finally, one more quote. David Bird is the pinnacle of Oakland Public School music programs. He is an alumni of a parent and an alumni of a soon to be high schooler and has taught at all but one of the high schools in the district, having built strong, thriving, sustainable programs in all of them. He has a strong vision for equity and building district-wide programs that reach all of our students in the diverse community of Oakland. He is a union leader at the district level and is a teacher that students love to learn from and they thrive in his presence. Please join us in congratulating David Bird. David, if you'd like to say a few words, feel free to unmute yourself. Wow. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I appreciate it. Um, I, I, first of all, I'd like to congratulate all of the um, recipients of uh, the various awards that are well deserved. Congratulations to you all. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a local. I'd like to thank my former uh, director at UC Jazz, Bob Kalanico, who I see here. Bob, um, I love Bob, great, uh, great saxophonist, great teacher. <laughs> I'm so happy to, re uh, to receive this award. Uh, um, although I do teach uh, jazz and orchestra, one of the first things I was thinking, like, man, everybody's going to think I'm just an orchestra guy, <laughs> but I'm a jazz guy too. So, um, and thank you uh, the, for the kind words from um, Stephanie Holmes, who's now on the board. Um, she is a great colleague, great friend, um, and taught both of my boys and did a great job. And I definitely uh, appreciate her and love her. Thank you, Stephanie, for all you do for OUSD. Thank you all, appreciate it. Thanks, David, congratulations. Our next award is for our Outstanding Classroom General Music Educator, and this year's recipient is Mr. Cody Martin. Cody is a music educator rooted in the heart of Sonoma County. He began his musical journey at age 12 when he ventured into playing guitar for various original and cover bands. Didn't we all do that? His desire to continue growing musically led him to pursue studying classical guitar performance at Sonoma State University, where he graduated with a Bachelor's of Music degree in May 2004. Graduating with distinction, he was the recipient of the Laumani Misra Endowment Scholarship, the Everett B. Person Endowment Scholarship, and the Stephen Sorensen Memorial Scholarship. After graduation, Cody spent a year performing as a freelance musician for weddings and wineries in Sonoma County. He later returned to education to earn a single subject teaching credential. He has since taught orchestra, concert, band, choir, and general music at various schools in Sonoma County. Cody currently teaches band, orchestra, and general music for the Rincon Valley School District in Santa Rosa, California. For distance learning, Cody created a video series for his students to engage with music lessons online through a show called Music with Mr. Martin. I think you can see by the photos that he has every child engaged at all times and makes me wish that I could play guitar. Congratulations. Cody, if you'd like to say something, please unmute yourself. Let's congratulate him. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations to all the other recipients tonight. Um, love seeing everyone's photos. I'm in my fourth year in my career, so I'm hoping to accumulate more photos over the years. Um, but I'm just so grateful. And uh, this has been a very tough year. Um, as many of you know, uh, the year of COVID had to get creative. And so, um, you know, teaching through different ways, teaching through technology has its challenges. Um, and so on a year where I feel like it was, it was really tough, it's really uh, receiving this award really makes my heart very full. So I'm very grateful. I want to thank um, Sonoma State University and in particular, uh, Dr. Andy Collinsworth, um, who helped me and was very patient with me as I came back to get my credential after being a performer for so long. And uh, having to go through the program and the courses uh, could not have done it without uh, Dr. Collinsworth and uh, just so grateful for um, those that have helped me every step of the way. And especially, you know, learning that the best teachers are the ones that continue to learn. So I hope to do that and continue to learn and continue to grow. So thank you so much. Congrats again, Cody. The next award that we were presenting is the Beyond the Baton Award. The Beyond the Baton Award was created in 2020 to honor the legacy and spirit of Dr. Eric Hammer by recognizing educators who promote musical excellence, integrity, dependability, and compassion through their teaching practice. This award is sponsored by the University of the Pacific Conservatory of Music and is presented by CMEA Bay Section. This year's award recipient is Shavante Eddington from Diablo Vista Middle School. A native of Los Angeles, Shavante began her teaching career in 1999 after receiving her Bachelor of Music degree in music education with an emphasis in clarinet from the University of Pacific in Stockton. Before receiving a Master of Music degree in music education from the Northwestern University, Shavante taught elementary and middle school band in Manteca and San Ramon Valley. After receiving a master's degree, 
She returned to the Bay Area to teach fourth and sixth grade instrumental and classroom music in the Berkeley Unified School District for one year before returning to San Ramon in her current position as director of instrumental music at Diablo Vista Middle School, where she is te her, where her teaching assignment includes three levels of concert band, jazz band, and string orchestra. In addition to her teaching responsibilities, Shavante also serves as a mentor for new music teachers in the teacher induction program and serves as the lead music teacher for San Ramon Unified, where she is responsible for coordinating professional development opportunities for the entire music staff. Shavante has served as band representative for CMEA Bay Section and is currently serving as representative for the California Orchestra Directors Association and the California Band Directors Association. Shavante feels that her most important accomplishment is serving as a mother to her twin boys, Aaron and Michael, who collectively play the cello, trumpet, and violin, and shared that her success would not have been possible without the love and support of her husband, Daniel. Staff and students say this about Shavante. Shavante is an amazing music teacher who encourages all around her, who encourages all around her to do their very best. She is a kind and compassionate music educator. She goes, she's gone beyond her job description to keep music going in the San Ramon Valley Unified School District. As the current music lead, she serves as the main development for music education in the school district. She has created grade level specific term, or teams to implement training and activities for all students, including virtual festival and performance activities over the last year. Another colleague said, I feel very honored to be a colleague and friend to Shavante. Please join us in congratulating this year's Beyond the, Beyond the Baton Award winner, Shavante Eddington. Shavante, if you have anything you'd like to say, please feel free to unmute yourself now. Thanks, Keith. I just, again, want to thank my colleagues uh, for trusting me enough to lead them through this uh, wild ride of a year we've had. And again, thanks to my, my, my children and my husband who have had to suffer through an immense amount of Zoom meetings and Google Meets uh, to get all this going. And thanks to the board and um, thanks, uh, Dr. Hammer. Thank you, Shavante. Next, we have Anne-Marie Kanamopoulos, who will be receiving the Bay Section Music Educator of the Year Award. Anne-Marie was also honored earlier in February at the CASMIC Virtual Conference as the Outstanding Music Educator from Bay Section. Anne-Marie Kanamopoulos has taught at Lincoln High School in San Jose for the past 30 years. She teaches the choirs and is the vocal director for the musical theater program. She is a graduate of San Jose State University with a BA in vocal music performance and also has a master's in choral conducting. She has been the recipient of the Carmen Dragon Memorial Scholarship in Conducting and the Distinguished Alumnus Award from San Jose State School of Humanities and the Arts Alumni Association. She also has twice been nominated as Teacher of the Year at Lincoln High School and received the CMEA Bay Section Outstanding Choral Music Educator Award in 2017. A colleague of hers, Lou Della Rosa, remembers when she arrived at Lincoln School in 1991 and how the program went from a small and developing choirs to the full and robust program it is today. He also noted that she had brought music literacy and appreciation to thousands of students, mentored new teachers, and maintained a strong connection to alumni. Some of these former students are themselves music educators and professional performers across the county. A high percentage of them currently make their living on Broadway and national tours not the county, but the country, sorry about that. He observed that when the great recession happened and budget cuts threatened the stability of the music, dance and theater programs at Lincoln, Anne-Marie reached out to her base of alumni and created the Lincoln High School Performing Arts Coalition. This group took the Judy Garland, Mickey Rooney approach, putting on summer shows with alumni to fund teaching positions through the short-term budget crisis. I also had the pleasure of working with Anne-Marie when I taught band at Lincoln High School. I found her to be passionate, energetic, and dedicated to vocal music in any form. It is the dedication that makes her such a tremendous music educator. She is comfortable with standard choral literature as well as jazz and vocal genres, and her ensembles reflect solid pedagogy. She has an amazing sense of humor, and our trips and tours were filled with fun and laughter. Lincoln High School was a successful example of performing arts magnet, but when the district took that designation away, it was no surprise that the choral music program continued to thrive at an extremely high level. Amory continued the high expectation of an arts magnet, in fact, paying even more attention to music literacy. Amory did not see obstacles. She just saw challenges that were to be overcome. 
It is our honor at, here at Bay Section to present Anne Marie Kanemopoulos with the CMEA Bay Section Music Educator of the Year Award. Congratulations, Anne Marie. If you want to say anything, please unmute yourself. Thank you so, so much. First of all, I had to write it down because I was so afraid I'd, you know, screw it up. So forgive me. This is a canned speech. Here we go. Um, I am humbled and honored to accept this award. Frankly, I'm sharing it with everybody out there because as we've moved through the last 15 months, I looked around and saw multiple teachers, every teacher modeling creativity and a desire to give students the best possible experience in education in a frankly impossible environment. I'm grateful for the many teachers known and unknown who inspired me to be the possible me. From Facebook to internet, from bitmojis, yes, bitmojis, to department meetings and everything in between, I drew strength and inspiration. An educator must be a student as well, and oh boy, did I learn this year how to connect with my students, or should I say the gray boxes with names, planning virtual singing projects, and encouraging students to participate by recording in their closets, their cars, and space they could find, searching for non-singing projects that my students would enjoy but would also enrich their education. And yes, teaching choral music but also teaching patience, troubleshooting technology, and most importantly, learning how to log back into my own classes when I got kicked offline. I know you can all, can you identify? I'm guessing you can, it, more times than I even want to say. Okay. I cannot wait to get back to in-person teaching. I'm the lucky one who gets to have the experience year after year of making music, accompanied by plenty of bad, bad, bad jokes, laughing, and a healthy dose of very inspired singing. So you know this already, we are in the best careers ever. And truly, thank you so much for recognizing me in this year of all years. Come to San Jose visit, let's have some good times again because Let's face it, after this year, we all deserve it. And not my. Thank you, Anne Marie, and congratulations again on, on your award. Our final award this evening is the CMEA Bay Section Lifetime Achievement Award. This award is presented to retired educators who have contributed exemplary service to the music education field. Without question, this year's award recipient has contributed to generations of students, performers, and music educators in the Bay Area. We're honored to present this year's Lifetime Achievement Award to Professor Timothy Smith. Professor Smith is a seasoned conductor, veteran music educator, and emeritus professor of music. His teaching career included high school and collegiate level teaching in Illinois and Iowa, founding the Instrumental Music Program at Gonzaga University in Spokane, Washington, and a 22-year tenure as Professor of Music at CSU East Bay in Hayward, where he was Director of Bands, served twice as Orchestra Director, and for 17 years was Head of the Instrumental Music Education Program. Professor Smith retired from academia in 2008. In the fall of 2016, Maestro Smith assumed the position of Artistic and Music Director of the Sacramento Symphonic Winds and served for 11 years as Music Director and Conductor of the Contra Costa Chamber Orchestra, retiring in 2018. In addition to his positions with the Sacramento Symphonic Winds and the Contra Costa Chamber Orchestra, Professor Smith is in continuous demand as a guest conductor, adjudicator, and clinician. He has conducted professional, collegiate, and community wind bands and orchestras, as well as over 200 high school and junior high school honor bands and orchestras throughout the Western, Northwestern, and Midwestern states, and has given thousands of clinics to instrumental ensembles in school and festival settings. As an educational conductor, Maestro Smith has conducted all state level honor bands and orchestras in several Western and Northwestern states, and has appeared with nearly every regional, county, and district level honor band and orchestra in Northern California and Nevada. Smith holds degrees in horn performance, conducting, and music education from the Conservatory of Music at the University of the Pacific and the School of Music at Northwestern University. He is a former member of the Stockton, Modesto, and Spokane Washington Symphonies, 
continues to work as a freelance horn player in Northern California and has served for years on the professional coaching and performing staff at the Humboldt Brass Chamber Music Workshop. Professor Smith has been honored by many professional educational organizations. These awards, awards include the California Music Educators Association Bay Sections, 2006 Outstanding Music Educator, and the California Band Directors Association Lifetime Achievement Award. He's held positions on the boards of a variety of professional music education organizations throughout California and has served for years as musical director as music director for the multi-level youth orchestra of Southern Alameda County. Maestro Smith has been a guest conductor of both bands and orchestras at the Pacific Music Camp, the Hayward Lahanda Music Camp, the Casadero Performing Arts Camp, and La Sierra Music Camp. Colleagues say this about Tim. Tim is a walking encyclopedia of musical knowledge. His attention to detail and score study and rehearsal is inspirational. I know that just having him work with our ensemble raises the musical IQ of everyone involved. His wit and curiosity about music make his interactions with the students memorable. And as a director, I appreciate his willingness to share his expertise in a collegial manner. We are so fortunate to have him as a resource for music education in Bay Section. It is Bay Section's honor to have him among our membership and to present him with this award. I can say that on a personal level, uh, I know how giving Tim has been to so many of us in and outside of the classroom. Although I was never one of his students, uh, when I was in high school even, and uh, later on as a teacher, and a story that really sticks out in my head about Tim um, is, this is almost 10 years ago now, uh, maybe eight years ago, was one of the first times that uh, I had hosted a CMEA band festival at El Cerrito High School, and uh, Tim was one of the adjudicators and Tim went out of his way not only to praise my students and the parents for, for running the festival, but also wrote to our superintendent and our principal to say what how he felt the, the festival was run. And I, I know that there's several stories out there for many of us that have these similar experiences with, with Tim. And um, just honored to present him tonight and hope you'll, you'll join us. This is my, going back to my script here, but please join us in congratulating Maestro Smith um, as we present him with this year's Lifetime Achievement Award. And Tim, if you're here and want to say a few words, please join us by unmuting yourself. Hi, can you hear me? Am I? Okay, good. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, this is quite an honor for me. Um, I think the main criteria for achieve, achieving uh, this kind of an award is you have to live long enough. Uh, and I'm glad to have uh, uh, been able to do that. And uh, to serve the profession in so many different ways. Um, it's been an honor to watch those students that I've prepared to be teachers um, become leaders in music education and also in giving clinics and conducting honor groups to be able to uh, work with what I consider now my grand students, uh, students of my students. Uh, and it won't be too long before I have great grand students as well. And uh, just to see that legacy carry on is um, uh, one of the most rewarding things that I can think of. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, the Bay Section has been um, a wonderful organization, and I've been honored to be associated with it in so many different ways, um, starting way back in the, in the mid-1980s when I came to Cal State Hayward. Um, I don't say the words East Bay. Um, I, I call it Cal State Hayward because that's the um, institution that I knew. But um, since the mid 80s to have been involved uh, in all sorts of different ways with um, uh, such treasured colleagues uh, in so many different ways, it's been been really, really rewarding. And the last thing I want to say is that um, uh, I'm glad I'm retired and didn't have to deal with all of the different things that all of you teachers have had to deal with. And I think everybody who's teaching right now, especially in music education, you guys are unbelievable heroes. Uh, and I hope you all come out the other end and um, feel like it was worth it for all of the extra work that you did. I mean, I think music teachers are some of the hardest working people on the planet. And to have to do the extra work that you all did to survive this last uh, year and a half uh, has been remarkable. And to witness it and to see the different things that people have been doing, um, it's just so impressive. Uh, so. Congratulations to all of you and thanks so much to everybody. It means a lot to me. 
Thanks so much, Tim. I when you said technological stuff, I, I was almost going to say that. Uh, sorry, can you unmute yourself? But I, I didn't. I didn't. Do <laughs> well, um, yeah. <laughs> I can barely operate my rotary phone, so there you go. <laughs> well, um, to Tim again, congratulations, and to all of tonight's award recipients, congratulations on behalf of all of us in Bay Section. Um, really all deserving uh, uh, award recipients tonight. And we're really glad that we were able to do this in a virtual setting. Um, and we're thankful for those of you that attended to to provide a, a virtual audience for our, for our award recipients. Fingers crossed and hoping everything's going well next year, we'll be having our award ceremony at our winter conference at San Jose State University. So for all of you out there, um, next year's is, next year's award recipients are going to come up here pretty quick because it'll be in January, and uh, we hope that you'll join us at, at our winter conference to honor a future um, our future award recipients. And I believe also um, that the plan is to honor our 2021 award recipients as well as that ceremony to give you guys a, a live um, recognition. So some more info on that coming to you as well. So we hope that you'll join us for our winter conference and January 7th and 8th, 2022. And we're so thankful that you came and you spent part of your Friday evening with us. Hopefully, um, those of you awards recipients, you have uh, there are some friends and family you can celebrate and having a good dinner and a good glass of wine or Coke, whatever it is that you're having. Thanks for being here. And I just want to uh, thank my, uh, my colleagues, Bruce Loniker and Sandy Lewis, for all their help in making this possible. And also Angelina Fitzhugh for putting together our slides today. Thanks everyone for being here. Have a great night and we hope to see you soon. Take it easy.